Good day everyone, welcome to my channel. So we have our new topic for disaster readiness and rest reduction, which is all about areas, locations exposed to hazards. So this is our topic for quarter three, module number two and lesson number two. Hello students, this module is all about the basic concepts of disaster and disaster rest. After studying and working on all activities in this module, you will be built enough knowledge in choosing for a location or areas with low rest to disaster and suitable for living. For the objectives, you are going to identify the areas or locations that expose to hazards that may lead to disaster. Now let's have the pretest. So all you have to do is to select the letter of the best answer from among the given choices. Every year, there are millions of people who are affected by natural disasters. And maybe you know how calamitous it is, am I right? From the destruction of buildings, the spread of many diseases, and even death, it can even devastate entire country overnight. Earthquakes, tsunamis, typhoons, and storm surge do not just wreak havoc on land. They also disrupt people's lives, destroy one's properties, and possess living in remote regions. Disaster can be avoided or leasen if people are knowledgeable enough in choosing their location or area of living. Choosing ones, reducing the rest of disaster, and looking security. The following are some of the areas or location exposed to hazards that may lead to disasters. Flood plains or flood prone areas. What happened when there is is a heavy or continuous rainfall exceeding the absorptive capacity of soil and the flow capacity of rivers, streams, and coastal areas. Yes, flooding happens. Flooding causes a water course to overflow its banks into lands adjacent to it. In general, Flood plains are lands most subject to recurring floods located beside or adjacent to rivers and streams. These are the lands that are inundated by water, 
Flood plains is large area or flat land on either side of the river that is sometimes covered with water when the river becomes too full. These are the flood prone area that are very hazardous to the development activities if the acceptable level of vulnerabilities exceeds owing to their continually changing nature flood plains and other flood prone areas need to be examined in the in the light of how they might affect or be affected by development below is an illustration of the characteristics of a flood plain Another areas or locations exposed to hazards that may lead to disasters is landslide. A landslide is also known as a landslip. It is a geological phenomenon that include a wide range of ground movements, rock falls, deep failure of slopes, and shallow debris flows were common. Landslides can occur in offshore coastal and onshore environments. Although the action of gravity is the primary driving force for a landslide to occur, there are other contributing factors affecting the original slope stability. Typically, preconditional factors build up specific subsurface conditions that make the area or slope prone to failure. Whereas, the actual landslide often requires a trigger before being released. Landslides occur when the stability of the slope changes from a stable to unstable condition. A change in the stability of a slope can be caused by a number of factors, acting together or alone. The following are the causes of natural landslides. First is groundwater or poor water, pressure acting to destabilize the slope. The second one is the loss or absence of vertical vegetative structure, soil nutrients, and soil structure. Example, after a wildfire, a fire in forest lasting for 3 to 4 days. The third one is erosion of the toe of an slope by rivers or ocean waves. Another causes of natural landslides are the following. Weakening of a slope through a saturation by snow melt, glaciers melting or heavy rains. Earthquakes adding loads to barely stable slope. Earthquake caused liquefaction destabilizing slopes. And the last one is volcanic eruption. The next one is landslides that are aggravated by human activities. First one is deforestation, cultivation, and construction, which destabilize the already fragile slopes. The second one is the vibration from machinery or traffic. And the third one is blasting. Another landslide that are aggravated by human activities is earthwork which alters the shape of the slope or which imposes new loads on an existing slope. The next one is in shallow soil wells, the removal of deep-rooted vegetation that binds colloviums to bedrock. And the last one is the construction, agricultural, or forestry activities such as logging which change the amount of water which infiltrates the soil. Another areas or locations that expose to hazards that may lead to disaster is area with armed conflicts. The word disaster usually brings tsunamis to the many other kinds of disasters. Accordingly, human consequences rather than the phenomena that causes it. 
the physical and psychological destruction of living creature is the main point of the word. Accordingly, Disaster is an actual or threatened accidental or uncomfortable events that are concentrated in time and space, in which society or relatively self-sufficient subdivision of society undergoes severe danger and injuries such as losses to its members and physical opportunances that the social structure is disrupted and the fulfillment of all or some of the essential functions. The society's social basic structure purpose of any terrorism disruption event. Disaster due to terrorism always leaves messages to the societies causing social disruption. Another areas or location that exposed to hazards that may lead to disaster is fault line areas. In the previous years, you already knew that a fault in geography is a discontinuity in the volume of rock, across which there have been significant displacement along the factors as a result of Earth's movement. The Philippine fault system runs from north to south and east to west of the archipelago. Knowing about it, the most important question to answer is whether or not you, your family, and your properties are safe from earthquakes. It's easier for you to determine the disruptions or not, but what about the earthquakes? Are you aware of all the locations of the fault lines in the Philippines? This active fault line system has the potential of generating up to a 7.2 magnitude earthquake that can devastate the capital and early provinces. FIVOX director Renato Solidum Jr. said that the new survey discovered new fault traces aside from those previously mapped and since there is no early sign warning when or where an earthquake occurs, FIVOX has been calling for public preparedness through earthquake drills and contingency plans and checking the structural integrity of homes and buildings. Since we are done on our discussion, so now let's have our assessment. For the direction, all you have to do is to put the pieces together to form a word that relates the topic of our discussion.